do we find an elephant dung beetle? Yeah, we must go where the elephants are and we must see where they go to the toilet. Of course, this is not made for the elephant, but for the tourists in a lot of elephant camps in the north of Chiang Mai. We went there because we thought here we will, of course, find the elephant dung beetle. A lot of this elephant camp with a lot of uh, interesting tours you can make on rafts. And here are the elephants. And here's piles and piles of elephant dung. But the quest for the elephant dung beetle is not as easy as we thought. Because when we asked the elephant trainers, they said there are no dung beetles in the camp, but probably in the forest out there where the soil is soft and the dung beetles can dig into the ground to lay their eggs for the rearing of the lolos. Here in the camp, the soil is very hard and impossible for a dung beetle to dig a tunnel. So the dung is waiting in vain. Where we can find them? Where we can find them? Suddenly, we got a phone call from one of the trainers two days later, and look what he found for us. A whole pocket filled with around 30 of the biggest dung beetles of the world, Heliocopris dominus. A really nice and big beetle, although they look cute and they move very cute. I've never seen them flying, but they can. And the trainer explains how he found them out in the forest in a place where the ground is made with sand, so it's easy for the dung beetles to dig a tunnel. He explains us that mostly the dung beetles, they dig under a pile of elephant dung and then they make a vertical tunnel into the soil, put a lot of this elephant dung into this uh, tunnel and lay uh, the egg of for a larva there. And not only for one, but that a whole group of this elephant dung balls that they dig into the soil. So if we would be happy to find one of the places we could dig out, uh, the clay balls in which the poop balls live of the elephant dung beetles in a clay ball the size of a coconut. So this is also what I wanted to see, but this is very difficult to find and not at this time. Because the pupas of the elephant dung beetles are a highly appreciated delicacy here in Thailand. It's an edible insect and uh, rarely you can find them today on the market because it's a real high price delicacy. Most it's eaten in the villages where they find them. So for this year it's a little bit too late because all the Adults are already here. And what are we doing with them? Let's see later. I thought that it would be a nice animal also for uh, zoological gardens to keep them together with elephants, but the elephants, they don't like the dung beetles. Why? We don't know exactly, but they are scared probably of the sound that the beetles make. I want to see you Look how cool, cute they are, like little toys. Put it here. I think it is uh, middle side. Yeah. So how we transport them now. for the next two days in our van because we wanted to go to Doi Intanon uh, for light trapping. But I think the trainer of the elephant has okay. already okay. a plan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we must stuff them somewhere where the driver of our van is not seeing it. 
Uh, he would probably believe this is only a bottle filled with oil, but as you can see, it's filled with fresh, juicy elephant dung to feed the beetles for the next two days until we will bring them to the swimming pool. Also, the adult beetles are eaten here sometimes. Um, also, smaller species of dung beetles, but mostly the dung beetles from vegetarian animals, cows, uh, buffaloes, elephants, goats, and so on. There seems to be an old tradition uh, of eating this insect, but of course in modern times the knowledge how to prepare them and collect them is lost. We were happy to find one of the elephant trainers that exactly knows where to find them. So they are stuffed into the transport box in three liters of elephant tongue. They don't eat the fiber material of the elephant tongue, of course, so they only uh, drink kind of the, the juice between the fibers of the elephant tongue, so it has to be pretty wet to feed the beetles well. So it would be a nice species to keep at home, but who has an elephant uh, that uh, is uh, giving away his tongue to feed these beetles? So it must be a bigger flat where you can breed and rear Heliocopris dominus, the biggest tongue beetle in the world. So then we went to Doi Intenon and see what happened later. <laughs> yeah, we arrived back in Chiang Mai two days later, and here you see the same box. And where are the dung beetles? Yeah, you just have to turn this bottle over, and then you will see them. They are still alive and well here. Of course, they are in the middle of their loved food source, the elephant tongue. And now they come into the swimming pool. That's the way how people clean the dung beetles here for eating. Mostly they let them swim for 24 hours. And it's said that if their uh, digestive tract is filled with dung material, the beetles, as soon as they are in the water, they let out all of the content of the digestive tract, so they are afterwards, after this swimming lesson for 24 hours, they are clean. The adult animals mostly are uh, prepared by taking away the wings, and of course mostly the females with a lot of eggs are, are loved for a meal. So that's how we found Heliocopris dominus and also Heliocopris bucephalus that you see here, the dung beetle of the cow. Here of a red cindy-ringed uh, table that uh, is critical. <laughs>